Hey everybody, I curious here. Welcome back to the Long Dark. Iron Woman of Timberwolf Mountain, episode number six. Alright, so let's get our little Let's get this going here. We are a little bit cold, so let's go ahead and get warmed up here as quick as possible. Uh, we just walked in from the uh, outside. Our lantern is a little bit low on fuel. I wonder if we can go ahead and top that off since we I think we do have lantern fuel. Uh, apparently not. Okay, never mind. So let's go ahead and turn that off. And uh, I did remember reading somewhere that someone said that Fluffy is in one of the caves. <laughs> kind of freaking me out right about now. Just saying. All right. I want to get this fire going. It sounds nasty outside. Wait a minute. Are we actually in the cave? Or are we outside of the cave? It kind of sounds like we're outside of the cave. I hope we're in the cave. Oh, well. Well, basically what we're going to do here is we're going to stay the night, rest, recover, uh, get all topped off on everything then we need to uh, head back down the rope I uh, I need to place my the rope I brought with me at the uh, spot where I uh... okay there we go get that going there how many fur woods do we have we got a few okay so yeah we're definitely inside it's 48 degrees in here um, is this the way to deeper into the cave yeah okay I'm gonna stay on this this out yeah okay let's not go that way let's stay here um there we go so we're no longer no longer have the blood popsicles now willow west made a great comment and she actually s explained how the hypothermia works and basically what happens is if you are if you have the uh, blood popsicles for uh for two hours you'll get hypothermia but if you at any time during that two hour time period warm yourself up uh it resets the counter so basically i could get cold again, have blood popsicles, and I can start over again with my two-hour timer. Um, so that's how it works. Anyway, she said that's why she likes coal so much, because even if you're outside, as long as you can get a fire going, and you can keep it going for a half hour and get the coal on the fire, uh, you know, in a protected area, then you should be able to warm yourself up, because the coal puts out so much heat, that uh, you should be able to warm yourself up to, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and drink. Warm yourself up enough just to uh, reset that counter. Alright, what else can we do? Uh, we have no afflictions, but we don't have any bonuses. I think what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and... Uh, we at now? 88% condition. We should be able to go back down. Eh, let's have coffee in the morning. In the meantime, let's get a little bit more water. Not much, just a little bit. And we're, we're just going to stay the night here in the cave. Um, part of me wants to go explore the cave. Part of me is a little afraid that the wolf uh, might be lurking in here. Because somebody has put that in my head. I've only heard it once. But it's supposed to be sort of like the... Uh, if it's anything like Fluffy at the Carter Hydro Dam. Uh, he'll start growling at us here shortly. I don't know. I'm a little nervous. But uh, we don't need to go through this cave to get to where we need to go. We need to go back out to the right. But... I actually need to go back down that rope to one level lower to lay down my mountain rope, uh, my mountaineer rope. So that's what we'll do. I'm just gonna holster this for now. Um, just to check, make sure we're good. Plenty of crackers and everything. Things looking pretty good. We're just a little bit tired, and we need to make it through till till morning. So what I'll do is I'll sleep for an hour here, and then we'll take a look and see what the. Uh, oops. Oh, and fires do stack. Um, that was answered in the comments also. Uh, it was confirmed that fires do uh, do stack. And I like putting my bedroll right on the fire because you guys, it freaks you guys out, man. I like it. I like freaking you guys out. Should be uh, dying out here. The fire. We're nice and toasty. Feels like it's a balmy 60 degrees in here. I guess I could take a torch and do a little exploring through here, but I would need to put on a couple sticks. So. Let's go ahead and do that. Do that real quick, come back, and then uh, then sleep. By then the fire should be out, and we'll decide if we actually need to start another one for the rest of the night or not. I don't think so. I think it's going to be warm enough in here. So let's throw a couple more sticks on. Just enough to grab ourselves a torch. There we go. Let's go explore the cave. Shall we? We'll probably find some more coal, actually. That's what we'll probably do. Which is wonderful. And we might find it. You know what? I think it was Lauren that said you should take your sh boots off before you fight the wolf. 
Actually, they're 100% now. Okay, never mind. It's a good point. It was in a prior episode when my boots were in pretty bad shape, and he's like, dude, you should have taken those boots off, because that wolf would have damaged those boots. You might have lost them completely. So uh, that was the point he was trying to make. Just sort of paraphrasing there. But, uh, yeah. So that's always a good idea. I'm kind of worried that there's actually going to be a wolf in, in here now. But knowing Hinterland, it's not going to be a wolf. It'll be something else. Something else much scarier. So, um, speaking of scary, um, I started watching Alone. It's a series on the History Channel. It's a survival series. And they stole my freaking idea for a... Whoa. They stole my idea for a survival show. Uh, initially, I was I used to talk about how Survivor was uh, so misleading because it would, uh, you know, it made it sound like... Oh, there's some cedar wood. We'll take that. It made it sound like, you know, it was going to be all about survival skills and stuff. No, it's all about just social networking and things like that. Or not, I shouldn't say social networking, I should say uh, networking socially. Uh, making alliances and voting people off and clicks and stuff like that. So it was more of a social experiment done on an island paradise. But I always said, man, my idea of a Survivor show back then was, uh, when Survivor just came out, was to take a couple people, throw them on a on an island, put cameras everywhere, and then watch them survive, and whoever whoever managed to survive the best, uh, or whoever gave up first, lost, and the other one won. Well, they did that with Alone, except they added, they made it ten people, and they scattered everybody around uh, Vancouver Island, British Columbia, up around Hinterlands, the neck of the woods, coincidentally, and uh, they, uh, ooh, it sounds cool, oh, what have we got here? We got a dead guy. What caused you to be dead, guy? Okay, well, it wasn't it wasn't the cold, because there's wood and matches around you. Um, hmm. But uh, they so they scatter these ten people around and they separate them by uh, mountains or uh, waters, uh, water features like you know bays and things like that, islands, and uh, they say basically, uh, here you go, here's how Les Stroud does it. Here's your camera. Document your experience. Uh, you get to take ten items of your choice with you, and uh, if you uh, whoever taps, oh cool, nice. Whoever uh, whoever whoever's the last one standing wins five hundred thousand dollars. Pretty cool idea. I like it. And it happens that there's a police officer on the show who's uh, from my neck of the woods, actually here in Ohio, as a Jackson police officer. Or he lives in Jackson. He's a police officer, I'm guessing, in that area somewhere. I don't know if he's actually a Jackson police officer. But they have some of the coolest cruisers I've ever seen. It's Jackson police. Uh, they're blacked out. And they have this, like, hidden decaling on it where it looks like a black car. But then when it gets illuminated by headlights or, or anything like that, it actually glows with, like, a normal logo. So it's kind of neat. Sort of like what, how runners have those things on their backs. That when headlights hit them, it glows. Reflective strips, things like that. Except it's completely hidden otherwise. Um, so I, I always see them at the OSP Academy whenever I'm doing training up there. They, I don't know. They are always send their officers through the OSP Academy training uh, classes I am, I'm going to. So anyway, I wonder if I'm going to bump up to, in, into this guy up here. His name is Josh. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately he was the first one to tap out. But I cannot blame him. Um, he, he literally had, first night, he had... Uh, two bears sniffing at the corner of his tent and to the look of it in the in the first episode you can go to history channel and actually see i'll probably leave a link in the description actually for you guys um you can watch all the episodes of the season one on the history channel website so um they're about an hour long but uh i don't i don't blame him at all man they had, they had two bears and they, they looked like cubs and i was like that's kind of creepy so okay we're gonna head on back it's just checking everywhere i think we did pretty good we got loaded up on some good good items here. And, uh, you know, wherever there's cubs, mama bearing too far away. So he's sitting in his little tarp <laughs> with his clutch and his axe. And he's like, oh, my God, I've seen a lot as a police officer. And this is terrifying me. I'm like, no kidding, man. You're no, <laughs> you're the prey out here. But uh, he said, hey, bear, a couple times. And, and they, they scurried off, luckily. But I think he, he could hear them sniffing and, and grunting and stuff right outside his tarp literally at the corner of his tarp and he had a little trail camp set up and 
So anyway, he tapped out. <laughs> so, of course, the person who's closest to me and who, who who's uh, in in the same line of work as I am uh, was the first one to tap out. But I can't really blame him. That was pretty freaky. But uh, it's a good show. So alone on the History Channel, go check it out. Um, yeah, just go watch all the episodes for free. Check out the link below. I've only watched the first episode, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to watching the, the the next ten or twelve episodes, whatever it is. So I saw, also, speaking of survival shows, I saw the preview for Dual Survivals coming back out, which is more of a soap opera than an actual survival show. But, uh, it's so choreo, you know, so pr produced, I guess you'd say. Overly produced, like they always have to do with the reality shows. I don't know why they do that, but um, that's why I like the last, uh, the last Alaskans. I think it's, uh, they, they, they don't try to over-sensationalize it and things like that. But uh, Dual Survival, it looks like they got rid of Matt Teddy and, or I should say, uh, no, oh god, what was his name? Teddy and, uh, or Tetai, or whatever his name is, the military dude, and um, Matt Graham. So, I was kind of disappointed to see Matt Graham leave, because he had some pretty neat skills, skill sets. But, uh, uh, looks like they have, um, Grady, um, I can't remember his, his full name, but the, the guy from, uh, I might go back down. Did I just turn around, turn myself around? I think I did. Anyway, Grady is the ex Green Beret from uh, Ultimate Survival Alaska, and then some other guy who's supposed to be like a primitive skills expert. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not. It's it's one of my least favorite survival shows, even though I still watch it. But definitely, definitely like in Alone and. Uh, the Last Alaskans. That was just a very interesting show about those guys up in Anwar living up there. Is this is this my way out? What the heck am I? I don't remember this. I sure feel like I'm getting turned. Oh no, here we go. Burnt. Oh, oh, that was good timing. All right, let's see what the temperature is here. 37 degrees. We're in good shape, so we, could, we should be able to sleep for the remaining six hours. Um, then we'll do a little bit of a assessment and see where we're how we're doing. So let's throw that. Oh, not a fire, not a fire. Bedroll. Let's rest for... I hesitate to sleep in too long, but you get a better condition bonus if you don't sleep too long. I hate sleeping too long in case for some reason that temperature drops real fast, but we'll do, th we'll do three hours, I guess. I'd hate to die right now just because I get greedy and try to do six or seven hours. Let's do three. I hate how that condition disappears. Now I guess in the easier modes, the non-stalker, like, the non-stalker modes, uh, there's still 37 degrees. Okay, good. Um, they'll actually, uh, it, you'll wake up if you get too cold in your sleep. In stalker mode, you just die. So comes with the territory, I guess. All right, a couple other things I wanted to talk about here real quick. Probably pause it before I go on, but I just wanted to point out some of the great comments I got over the last three episodes since uh, I batch recorded those, and uh, okay, let's do, let's pause this here real quick. Let me go, I, I actually took photos of all the really great comments, so I could go back and check them out here. Oh, uh, Mike uh, Torkelson uh, said, if you have low quality food, eat it before you go to bed. If you get food poisoning, you still have, uh, you still get the calories, but will sleep off the effects. Uh, by the time you wake up. So that's freaking brilliant. That makes so much sense. If you're going to take a gamble, do it just before you're about to, you know, do the cure anyway. So I like that. Um, the other thing that I pointed out was if you get food poisoning, might as well eat all your crappy food now because you're not going to get any more food poisoning. I don't think it stacks. Um, and then Faith Sid, uh, said a really cool way to guarantee fire starting is to... Uh, Light a torch, carry a torch, light it with a match because you 100% guaranteed to start that fire. And then use that torch to try to start your fire, your actual campfire. Because um, you can get multiple attempts at it. If you fail with the torch, you can you, you normally will get it your campfire lit before you... Is this the way out? Okay, let's take a look here. You'll normally get it lit before you... Uh, Oh yeah, it looks nice out here. Okay, this looks good. 
before that torch burns out. So that's pretty smart. And now I wonder if your skill goes up when you uh, when you use your torch to start the fire. If so, that you could almost glitch the game that way. Negative 19 degrees. Okay, we're gonna hurry on this. We're in good uh, good condition. You know what? We're a little uh, over encumbered. I don't like that. So let's head back up here and drop some of this stuff because we're gonna need to rest here again once we come back up the hill. I'm gonna drop my uh, coal a lot, a few of my coal pieces and all that. We're gonna end up dropping our our mountain rope, um, which will be 11 pounds less. But uh, in the meantime, let's just do that. There's no point in carrying all this stuff around. So I'm just going to do, uh, let's actually put it up here on the snow. I think it'll be easier to see. Unless it falls through the snow. Hopefully it doesn't. Okay, what do we got here? We got five pieces of fur wood. That's a little much. Let's drop that. We're not going to need even that much for this trip. Um, coal, there we go. Oh, wow, we got 14 pieces of coal, so that's like 10 pounds of coal. Let's just drop it all for now, because we're not going that far. Literally, we're going down the rope a little bit to the left. We're going to drop a rope and then come right back up again. So it's not going to be a big deal at all. Probably need a drink. No, we're starting to get a little bit hungry. Let's go ahead and eat. Yeah, might as well. Be nice to get rid of this rope. I, I was thinking about my... my um, my plan to to make my shortcut. I don't think I actually need two ropes. I think I just need one. I think I could use two ropes if I wanted to, but I don't think it's going to be really necessary. And then someone else was saying, well, why don't you use the cave you're in instead of uh, going down and using that other cave? And the, and the main reason is if I want to stockpile resources down there, it'll be a lot closer to the only workbench on the map, which is at the cabin. So I kind of want the cave that's closest to the cabin just so I can jump back and forth and you know, do a little bit of crafting, jump back, warm up, go back down, do some more crafting. You know, it just sort of shortens the distance of overall. Um, what I might do, and I was thinking about this, once we get to the summit, I might take some of the, uh, I'm assuming, well, actually, all of those furs are all cured, aren't they? Let's just make sure we're not jumping down. Wait, is that a container? Those are some containers. We're going to check that out. All right, let's head down. So I know I should probably be using some coffee, but I don't think we're going to be gone that long. So I'd rather save that for a, a much, like a more lengthy trip. Alright, what, what's our weight at? Yeah, it's not bad at all. Okay, we're about to lose another 11 pounds too. Um, I was thinking that if we were going to get wolf skins up there and deer hides and things like that, I'd just let them cure up there and just survive off of the loot that's up there. Because I think there's a little cave up there on the summit too. But it's not explorable. But we should be able to survive up there for a little while. But that's going to be a moot point because I think they, I think there's a little drop off here. So we're going to definitely check that out though. I want to get, there we go. Okay, yep, here it is. This is this area that I was thinking of. Just want to make sure that bear isn't just kind of lying and waiting for me. So I think if we come down here, oh, there's more containers down there? Wow. We'll get to those eventually. I think if we go down here and then we go out that way, I think that takes us over to where the engine cave is, our first cave that we came to. So, uh, deploy mountain rope. Do it. Do it, Doug. Okay, oh, we got frozen popsicles. So, wow. That was quick, too. Down to 98%. Let's check out see what kind of loot we got in this, uh, our weight should be nice now. 45 pounds. Oh, you gotta love that, right? Okay. Let's see what this container... I think it's a container. It looked like it. Anyway. I was thinking about just spent Yeah, it is. Okay. No, and then somebody else was saying in the comments that there's actually three places in the container to, uh, to search. Uh, there's only two. That was verified by another uh, another viewer. And we'll just we'll leave most of this. This is all food. Don't need to carry all this around. A lot of food, actually. What is that on top of that hill? Oh, that's a that's a wolf. He's eating something, isn't he? What's he doing? Can I do my little fish? No, can't do my peripheral zoom trick. Man, as long as he's eating that, he's not eating me, right? 
Okay, some meds. Okay, we're just gonna leave all this here. But uh, I'm gonna need to sit down and actually make note of all this stuff where where it's all at, so we're not running around later on like chicken with our heads cut off. Okay, so let's head back up. We should have plenty of yeah, we got plenty of. Uh... Now I know if I break up those those containers, those uh, little boxes, there could be stuff that's hidden underneath them. If it's anything like the uh, the wreckage up here at the summit, but. Uh, I'm not going to spend the time doing that. Waste, you know, 10, 30 minutes, whatever it takes to bust up a crate and, and freeze myself even further. So let's just climb this rope and uh, get back up here. Get back to work. Going good. Going good. All right, so we got rid of that rope. I think we have a good egress route set up here. Um, I'm just going to double check and make sure that I don't have to go through this cave. I'm pretty sure the next rope that I need to go up is past the cave and then around the... It sort of goes goes to the right. I'm pretty sure I just need to go up that way. We're going to do that real quick. Actually, let me let me warm up real quick. Knock off this uh, hypothermia. Yeah, might as well. Might as well just warm up real quick. Maybe 16 degrees. What, what we'll do is we'll start a fire. We'll get some coffee in this. Um, we'll take a little bit of a rest just to get our condition up to about 95 or so, whatever. And, uh, there we go. Get inside here. Alright, this is our coal stash. Alright. I honestly wish I had Grifter's brain for remembering where all this stuff was. The dude's smart, so. Anyway. I don't. I'm very scatterbrained. I have to write everything down, which, you know, obviously I'm not <laughs> not doing so. I would like to, though, eventually, but uh, kind of want to do that offline, but at the same time, you burn calories while you do it. But it looks like we got plenty of food around here, so maybe once I get up to the summit, I'll, uh, I'll go back and offline just sort of make notes in the journal where everything's at. Um... That'd probably be a good idea. Alright, there we go. Yeah, let's use the fur. Can I just burn this? Get rid of it. Alright, fur wood. Let's add one of those. There we go. Should be nice. Let's get our uh, coffee here. Yeah, this. There we go, got rid of the blood popsicles before hypothermia is set in. Double check, make sure the afflictions are good. Yep. My Hinterland Hawk coffee cup, which I would kill for. Alright. Alright, let's just, uh, what we'll do is we'll just rest, get our uh, fatigue back up, get warmed up again. So let's just rest for an hour. Hopefully it gets warmer too. Should as the day goes on and afternoon hits. Normally it's the best time to. Uh, do the traveling. Okay, how do I... Is it too close? My bedroll's too close, isn't it? Hour and 25 minutes. Uh, eh, we'll just sleep for one hour. And we'll take a torch. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Even though we'll probably end up dropping that torch for too long, because we're going to have to climb. Or we'll extinguish it. Yeah, it should get us up into the low 90s. I can live with that if you guys can. Let me see if there was any other great comments here. Let me let me pause this again real quick. You guys really you really had some neat gameplay ideas, like outside the box thinking and stuff like that. I really really like that. Um, ha, Brad Womack said, "How do you attack a wolf so fast? I can't seem to get that response you get." So I told him that I would use my webcam and I'd show you guys. So what I'll do is I'll start a new character um, somewhere else, you know, and I'll go and intentionally get attacked by a wolf, and I'll show you guys right now how I do it. Um, as Willa West talking about hypothermia. Oh, Gamer Nate. Uh, he said he's going to start a uh, Timberwolf Mountain Only series, so make sure you head on over to his site, Gamer Nate, all one word. Um, he's really good. Good, mature gaming. Uh, oh, 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 I missed it by one minute. Uh, and uh, he knows his stuff, so 
Yeah, head on over there. Check out his series. I really, I'm really enjoying uh, him and Willow West right now with uh, the long dark. Let's see how it is out here. Let's see, it looks like it's pretty nasty. Did I take my shoes off? No, I left them on. All right, negative 24 degrees. Ugh. Oh, my torch got blown out quick. That so much for that. Negative 24. Let's head back in. There's no need to rush this. Oh, he should still have a little bit of a fire, maybe. At least embers could probably. Actually, don't even need a fire. Because we're warm now. And this cave doesn't get that cold, so. I'm thinking, I'm thinking like I'm back in the, in the camp office. Or not camp office. The, uh, the mountain cabin here. Uh, bedroll. Let's just lay down for a few hours and see if we can... Yeah. See if we can just wait out this weather. Hopefully we can get into the vault. At least the positive digits. We'll just take it one one hour at a time. I know it's not the most efficient way to recover condition, but there's not that much condition to recover, so I'm not too stressed about it. All right, pick it up because if I if I don't, I'll forget it. I guarantee it. Eight degrees seems better. I might I might go grab a couple pieces of wood and a couple pieces of coal for the summit. Five degrees. We'll take it. It was much better than it was. So we still have the coffee? No, we don't have the coffee bonus going on. Well, that was kind of quick. Hmm. Oh well. There we go. Two pieces of fir wood, two pieces of coal. We should be just fine to get up to the summit, which really isn't too far away. At least it shouldn't be. Of course, I didn't think that this first rope over here that we climbed... We were being chased by a bear at night. Was going to be that far either? So who knows? All right. Responding to your guys's comments and reading your guys's comments and uh, all that really, uh, really helped the uh, twelve-hour shifts fly by a lot faster. So really appreciate it. I appreciate the new uh, new producers. Uh, thank you so much. I'll grab a stick or two. Um, I think it's four degrees. I think we should have a rope here. Oh, it looks like this. This looks like it. No, this is not the hollow tree of death area where I died. The last. Time. Uh oh, maybe there is. No, there is. There is. Okay. I was looking around, going, "There's no rope here," but I see it now. Okay, there it is. I see it against the white snow. I didn't really see it. Oh, okay. I can see it against the rocks now. Really tough to see, actually. That is one heck of a climb. Luckily, we're in pretty good shape, so. Oh, there's a, there's a way down, too. Huh. I, wonder where, I don't think that leads the right direction, though. I think that leads us back towards, um... Deer... Uh the deer clearing, whatever it's called. Is it called deer clearing? Something like that. Let's do it. Let's summit this. I think we can make it all the way. We're further than halfway and we just went past our halfway Mark for our stamina. Okay. Maybe. Maybe this was a bad idea. I think it was a bad idea. Come on. Get up there. Come on. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, where's the ledge? Let's just go back down. Ho, 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 ho. That was a bad idea. Wow. Whose idiotic idea was it to keep going? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bad idea. Start a fire, get some, uh, get some coffee in us. I think we're going to get re-upped on matches, so I'm not too concerned about it. 
Oh, 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 oh. I thought I just died. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. I was actually sur Oh, we didn't get our first heart. That kind of sucks. Oh, you know what? Wait, do we have a torch that we can try this on? Let's try this on a torch. Do we have a torch? Yes, we do. Let's just uh, light this torch. There we go. Let's light this torch. Let's try this method. It's like, hey, I'm going to give you a great suggestion on how to start fires. And then you're promptly not going to do it. Okay. Suit yourself there. Accurize. I wonder what happens if you keep climbing, despite all that. I wonder if next time you actually fall all the way. There we go. Hey, you. Into the fire you go. Oh, not that. No. Oh, I wonder, did it say that my, it went up? My, uh, okay, I don't know. Let's cook up coffee. My skill. Wait, let's holster this. Cook coffee. No, 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 no. Cook coffee. I need the, need the energy. Actually, it was just a stamina bar. It's not my actual fatigue, so it's probably already. I'm probably already ready to go again. Uh, it's hard to say. I'd have to do some running around, and I don't feel like running around on this ledge. Let's see what my stamina bar says. All right. Uh, at least we'll get rid of our popsicles there. Should at least. There we go. Okay. Well. Let's see what our well, let's see what it says when we grab on this rope. Okay, we're back to okay. I could have probably just used some sticks, but uh, there we go. I think we're gonna make it this time. Wow. I can't believe that the game was that kind to me in stalker mode. Hey, hey, hey! Summit, baby. Still hear the fire crackling. Summit. You gotta love it. Let's get up here. Let's attempt that. Negative eight. Feeling a little encumbered. It's always an accomplishment just getting up here. Always. Bloodsicles. Gotta f find this cave. It's, it's rumored to be up here. <sighs> I haven't actually seen it, just heard about it. What do we got here? Dead guy. Some soda. Alright. Some feathers. I guess we'll take those. Tail section. Alright, let's get in here. Get warmed up. Celebrate life at this mass grave site. What is this? Nothing. Okay, let's get inside. Let's get inside. Get in here. What do we got here? 23 degrees in here. Not bad at all. But we will need a little bit of a fire just to get warmed up. So put that back. All right, let's just get a fire going here. Oh. Yeah, I still got my torch, I think. Don't I? Should. Let's see. Yes. Like that bad boy. Okay. Torch. Start fire with my torch. Now, wait a minute. Skill. 65. Well, we're going to check on this. 
Now I can just run around and start one stick a bunch of times all over the place with a torch and probably raise my skill up, you know, 6-7%. Or 6-7 points. Hmm. Failed. Okay, well, and that's, that's only, this is the insufficient, oh, I need tender. Okay, let's break down a stick here real quick. Um, yeah, let's keep that lit. I don't think it'll take that long to break down a stick. Harvest into some tinder here. There we go. Okay, let's start this fire. Tinder. 65. Oh, we're getting a little long, long in the tooth here in this episode, so once we get this fire going, we get rid of our blood sickle. We'll uh we'll call it a an episode. But we made it. We made it to summit. Did I fail again? Oh my gosh. It's on to me. It's on. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die at the summit. It knows what I'm trying to do. It knows I'm trying to game the system here. 65 base skill still. Come on. Just want to see if it goes up. It's one part adventure gaming, one part survival gaming. One part Mythbusters. All right, let's see what our let's see if we all right, let's get let's keep this going actually. There we go. Three hours. That'll be nice. Let's extinguish this. All right, let's see if we were to start a fire again. Is it now 66? Uh, gosh, I gotta keep breaking up sticks here. couple of these here real quick. There it goes. There goes the blood sickles. Let's just get like three tenders so we don't have to keep doing this over and over again. It's a bit annoying. Okay. So if I am let's put this away. If I am to start another fire, is it gonna be 65 or 66 percent? 66 oh you can. Oh so start yourself a torch get yourself a torch going and then light a bunch of sticks on fire and it'll bump up your uh, your chances here with that one lit torch interesting very very interesting okay well maybe they'll fix that so alright what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll open the Christmas presents here uh, of Christmas presents of death um, here in the next episode so it'll be episode 7 so what I'll do here is I'll do my typical bedroll save I have to on this one. Alright, we'll just go for two hours. How's our thirst doing? Eh, we're okay. Let's go for two hours. And I shall see you in episode seven. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the tip jar. Oh, someone's asking, where is this mysterious tip jar? Well, if you're in a country outside of the United States, it's a hit or miss whether or not you'll actually see it on my homepage at uh, youtube.com forward slash accurate2. If you can't see it, you know, you can always uh, contribute on the Patreon page um, and pledge, you know, something small like a dollar or a month or something like that if you do want to contribute to the cause and and uh, keep this channel, uh, you know, as, as up to speed as possible. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in Episode 7 of The Long Dark, Iron Woman of Timberwolf Mountain. Y'all take care.